Hello everybody, this is Frank with Tiny Plastic Spaceman, and we are bringing you today, of course, the brand new Forge World Legion Custodes Caladius Grab Tank with Iliastis Cannon. Um, I don't know what that means, uh, it's a big gun, um, yeah, so this is brand new, just released today at the Forge World, uh, sorry, at the Warhammer World uh, 40k Open Day. Um, here on the what is that the 5th of november can't read it through the camera um yeah so we're just going to dive right in going to get our handy dandy safety knife and open this up it's uh the pretty standard now um uh white forge world box that we've grown used to seeing over the past year or so so it's been shrink wrapped brand new never opened open for you here on this video right now so oh, there's no little slipcase bit um, okay so before we get to anything the first thing we're going to do is not look at the instructions we're going to look at this this is the forge world guide to building resin model kits if you cast your eyes somewhere up here there will be a link to my video um, which uh, basically watch you through all of the equipment um, actually it's a playlist um, for a growing series of videos at the moment as I record this there's only just the playlist uh, sorry there's only just the tools that are on there um, but there will be things like checking and cleaning uh, which is what this video is uh, how to get rid of casting gates how to get rid of mold lines how to get rid of shims and how to do repositioning of warped parts and then assembly so eventually that will be a, a full video series. So this is very important. Um, if you're not used to using, uh, working with resin model kits, this is a very good guide for you. Um, now, the next thing we're gonna do before we, again, before we dive into the actual kit itself, we're gonna look at the instructions. The Legio, sorry, it's not the Legion. This is Legio Custodes Caladius Grav Tank. Um, yeah, so there it is. Big guns, and if you cast your eyes in the description down below, if you're watching this on the computer or just, uh, I think there's a down button somewhere here if you're watching on a mobile device or something. Uh, it just kind of depends how you're watching this. Check out the description, and there are there will be a link there for photos from today at the uh, open day where you can see there's a smaller version of this sucker, um, which is kind of like a basically a land speeder. Uh, and then possibly there will be jet bikes and probably there will be a uh, super heavy size version of this sucker. So yeah, that's uh, look forward to that. So here's the components. These are all the resin and plastic pieces that you're gonna get in the kit. It's probably gonna be all resin. Preparing the model for assembly, again, use the guide and Basically, this is what you've got. And then, back page. It's nice, it's um, in the Horus Heresy Black Book, what I call the Black Book style, uh, with this sort of aged uh, parchment sort of color to it. Pretty cool, I like it. So now, let's get into this here. All right, so you got the big base. Let's just get this back there out of the way. You can see right away there's a big base included because it is a grav tank so there is a sort of a skimmer base that you are maybe familiar with if you're uh, used to um, Eldar vehicles. So here's the main body. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Are we gonna focus? Let's try to focus. Doesn't look like we're focusing, but there you go. Just go to full screen. <laughs> so you can see there's uh, bits here and here where there's going to be various things that will plug in. Looks like here's where your flying stand goes or your, your skimmer stand. And here's the right nacelle. 
These are casting gates, so that you'll be cutting these off here, these pieces. Apologies for the varying quality of light. I am working on my lighting situation, trying various things with every new video. This is the left nacelle. You can see there's this big chunk here that will go into that approximately. Looks like you will need to just a little bit of hand fitting, but it does go in pretty well. There you go. So that's the main bulk of the tank. Yeah. So now let's look at this the small plastic bag. It's pretty traditional Forge World sort of uh, packaging. Once again, you got your your big base. It's like a looks like a knight sized or shaped base. And it looks like there's your skimmer base. So it doesn't really float that high off the ground. Is it meant to? Doesn't look like there's anything else that plugs in. Ah, there we go. You do have a, a taller base piece that fits on that. This looks like a new sort of assembly for Forge World. And then this will sit there and then you glue this onto your plas your big plastic base or whatever base you want to use. So that's handy dandy. These are all brand new pieces to me and you, I'm assuming. So yeah. So I'm just trying to There we go. There we go. Now we've got some autofocus happening. So again, if this is flickering, I do apologize. Uh, I am trying various things with the lighting. These look like the little plates on the outside. I'm not sure if they're meant to be like ablative sort of armor. Those uh, looks like they go here on this piece here, as you can see from the picture. So there's uh, let's see, there's a few of those. Yes, there's two sets of those. The guns. Minimal warpage. I mean, you could easily put that straight on the table without worrying about uh, doing the hot water deal. And this looks like the turret. There's the engine bits. More engine bits. Looks like we had a light come go off. So uh, yeah, very, uh, very looking really cool. Lots of little bits to it, not too many. I mean, there's, if you look at just the the, the underside, this is kind of what you'd expect to see on uh, an Imperial, you know, Space Marine speeder sort of thing. Um, and what goes, I'm just curious, what goes there? Oops, there goes that. Shows you why it's not glued in. There we go, we've got some light back. Oh, it's these fins that go in those holes. Okay, these fins actually, kind of like the kind of like the Eldar skimmers. Those that goes there. Um, probably not, and not that direction. Right. So let's uh, continue to look at the rest of these while we have some good light. Ooh. Possibilities for lens effects there. That's the main turret, and that would go there. Pretty cool. And I'm getting kind of a an Eldar vibe from this thing because it's got the uh, the uh, the fins here that act as you know sort of like rudders and stabilizers and stuff like that as it's going along. You've got the gun that. 
looks like this or something holds the gun and then you have this shield that's on the outside of the gun so if you're familiar with the uh, wave serpent hmm, maybe the uh, custodies have got some uh, forbidden tech that's what I'm gonna go with so yeah that is the uh, that's everything I think um, just just do sort of a roll call of the, all the parts just real quick so um, as I'm doing this, I'll uh, give you my usual end of video spiel. Uh, if you have liked the video, please do give me a like um, if you're registered with uh, YouTube. And if you're not, just register with YouTube and, and give me a like. Um, and whether you are or are not registered with YouTube, please uh, feel free to check us out at tinyplasticspacemen.com. And we're also on Facebook at Tiny Plastic Spacemen. We're on Instagram uh, at TPS Painting Studio. The reason for that is because Tiny Plastic Spacemen is too long, believe it or not. But TPS Painting Studio fits. But yeah. Um, oh, there's some guns. And uh, yeah, so please um, share and enjoy. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.